Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman and today we're doing a video about the ecliptic. One of the things I often hear in response to uh, why we can't see Nibiru or Planet X clearly is because it's below the ecliptic. Um, this is often uh, given as a reason in response to some of my videos when, when I challenge people and say well you know, if, if Nibiru and Planet X is, is really there next to the sun or, or in the sky somewhere, uh, why can't astronomers from all around the world see it? And, and the response often comes back, well, it's below the ecliptic. It's as if it's, uh, it's out of sight. It's a bit like saying it's, it's below the horizon so you can't see it. But it doesn't work that way and uh, in this video we're going to take a look and see exactly what this ecliptic is and what it means and, and how it works. So first of all what I'm going to do, um, we're looking at uh, the view from uh, New York. This is uh, looking around, we've got uh, Central Central Park there and we're looking towards uh, New York and as you can see we've we've got the sun in the middle of the sky and here is the sun, I'll just select that, okay. Now the ecliptic. The ecliptic is the path that the sun apparently takes through the sky. Now of course the sun does not orbit the earth, the earth orbits the sun, but because of the earth's rotation the sun takes an apparent path across the sky as the earth turns. I'm going to turn on the ecliptic and we're going to see this green line arcing across the sky and if I move time back you can see the sun is moving towards the the east where it rises and if I move it forward we can see the sun going across the sky and you can see this green line this arc is sort of following the sun as we go. Um, now the planets as well also approximately follow the ecliptic as well they're not right on the ecliptics sometimes certain planets will be right on the ecliptic depending on where they are in their orbit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on these markers for the uh, for the planets so you can see them clearly as well. And Saturn and Uranus and Neptune. Okay so as you can see we've got a bunch of planets which are pretty close to the ecliptic there. Now as I said before a lot of people are saying we can't see Nibiru or Planet X because it's below the ecliptic as if it's below the horizon. Well, you can see here that, and this is a northern hemisphere view, I mean I'm in New Zealand which is southern hemisphere which means everything's upside down, but you can see that we can see the ecliptic line here and we can see above the, ecli the ecliptic and we can see below the ecliptic, right? In fact we can see a long way below the ecliptic. Now I'm going to do something else here, I'm going to view the um, the ecliptic uh, poles as well. Alright, now if I move this round we can see the north ecliptic pole. Now what I've actually done there is I've actually had to turn around and basically look towards the, the north because we're looking towards the south here, okay. Now in the northern hemisphere the the sun crosses the sky in the southern half of the sky. In the southern hemisphere it's the opposite, the, the sun crosses the sky in the, in the northern half of the sky. So what I have to do is rotate round so that we are looking north. This is north, you can see the marker there if you've uh, got your high definition uh, uh, viewing on. And uh, this is the North Ecliptic Pole. So we can see all the way up to the, the Northern Ecliptic Pole. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the Celestial Poles as well. So that's the North Ecliptic Pole and this is the North Celestial Pole. So that's the northernmost point in the sky. Now I'm going to turn the daylight off so we can see the uh, stars clearly and we can more clearly see the ecliptic and the planets in the sky as well. You can see Jupiter, Venus, Mars, the Sun is here, Uranus, Mercury, Neptune, all approximately following the ecliptic. And again, this is the north ecliptic pole, so this, is, this here is above the ecliptic 
and this is below the ecliptic so even from New York or anywhere in the northern hemisphere we can see well below the ecliptic um, that's not a problem but what if we change our location what I'm going to do is change our location to Auckland New Zealand in the southern hemisphere so here we are now in Auckland New Zealand in the southern hemisphere and as you can see uh, we're looking straight at the south celestial pole and below that we've got the uh, south ecliptic pole and we can see the ecliptic is arcing across the sky here again we can see the Milky Way and uh, for anyone um, familiar with the southern hemisphere sky uh, you can see the two pointers and the southern cross here now we don't have a pole star in the southern hemisphere uh, such as Polaris in the northern hemisphere so we don't have a, a central star that we can watch the, the stars rotating around but it um, doesn't change the fact that the, the stars still do uh, rotate through the sky if I speed up time uh, we're going to see this um, happening in fact I'm going to have to go the other way because it's, it's nearly, it's nearly uh, sunrise um, so as I speed up time we're going backwards in time here you can see the the, uh, the stars are rotating around the central point and here's the south ecliptic pole here is our ecliptic so to say that Nibiru or Planet X or anything can't be seen because it's below the ecliptic is nonsense because we can see well below the ecliptic from the northern hemisphere and we can see all of below the ecliptic from the southern hemisphere in fact we can see to the uh, south ecliptic pole so next time somebody says well Nibiru or Planet X can't be seen because it's below the ecliptic as if to say it's below the horizon or or some magical thing like that it's nonsense okay um, anyone in the southern hemisphere can see below the uh, the ecliptic and in fact they can see all the way to the south ecliptic pole so I hope that's cleared that up um, any questions just uh, send me a message or leave a comment under the video and as always um, do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex I'll put a link for you in the description area thank you for watching